Hello and welcome back to another video from Real Therapy Fishing. On today's video, it's a little bit different. Um, a lot of people have been requesting about um, us possibly doing a camera gear video. So I'm going to talk you through the camera gear that we've got and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Sorry if the audio isn't as good as our normal videos. I am filming this on the phone because obviously I want to show you all the uh, camera gear. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. So our first um, camera is our big camera, the main camera that we have, that we film on. This is a Canon EOS M50, and it does have a few modifications on it, which I'll show you now. So the first modification, and the one that we we think is vital, is a Rode Video Micro, um, and that goes onto the top of the camera. And this baffles out any wind noise completely. Um, it really is a good, good little microphone, that one. And it saves uh, having to clip on different microphones to different people. That just picks up everybody's voice. So the camera does come with a standard 15 to 45 millimeter lens. Um, we found this one to be a bit too up close when we we're on the boat. So uh, we decided to swap for a different lens, which we have got, as you can see there, a 10 to 18 millimeter EFS lens. And um, that's an ultra wide angle lens. Um, and it's absolutely brilliant for when we're out, especially on the small boat because uh, that really does pick up everything. So next on the list, we have a Gorilla tripod. Um, this is quite good, very adaptable. You can stand this on top of a table. Um, we mainly use it because it's got really good grip. So we pretty much use this camera for all of our fishing trips. It is a really good camera. Um, yeah, we wouldn't recommend anything else really. It's really easy to use. Just a simple one off switch, your record button there, and that's it, you're pretty much shooting. So we'll move on to the next one. So next up, we have a GoPro Hero 9. And we do actually have two of these, but uh, they both serve different purposes. This one's heavily modified. We've got the GoPro um, Hero 9 Media Mod on with this one. Um, and this one here is basically, again, um, another uh, microphone on the top there. You can plug in um, an external microphone in that slot there. So you could end up putting our uh, big microphone from our big camera in there. You've got constant charging um, if you need it, so you don't have to use the batteries. You can plug this straight on, and we are going to be using this on the big boat because we think that will definitely um, preserve our battery life. And last but not least, you've got like a HDMI port, which means that you can um, plug this straight into your computer or your laptop, etc., and um, get all your footage off that way. But we just use the SD cards, really. So that part's the medium mod. Um, the next bit, we have got the max lens mod. Um, that's also on this GoPro. Again, um, we needed that ultra wide angle for uh, filming on the big boat and a small boat. Um, and this here picks up everything. This picks up me, dad and Paul on a, um, on a wide angled lens. So definitely good to have that. So next up is GoPro number two. Now this one is dead standard. Um, nothing, nothing on this one. Uh, obviously we named them one and two. That's obviously uh, worn off a bit there. But um, we do have a... Uh, diving underwater case that i've bought for this recently um especially going down to brighton and places like that uh, we want to get a load of uh, underwater footage so uh, hopefully that'll be coming up soon in a future video i'll uh, put the dive case on it now and i'll show you it with the dive case on so here's the gopro with the dive case on and as you can tell now it's completely um watertight you've got your stop button exactly where you want it uh, on and hit record um, this you actually have a safety feature that you have to flick across to get the GoPro out of it at the case So yeah, a lot of uh, underwater footage is going to be coming soon of uh, hopefully fish being caught So yeah, that'll be a nice little uh, Feature there for the channel. So next we have a really really small camera and um, this is a little Insta 360 Absolutely awesome camera. Um, no, we're not sponsored by any of these cameras, but really good if you want to make YouTube videos as you can see there, you can customise them all. So we've got the Real Therapy Fishing um, on there. And again, you can press to connect. You can use this camera inside the case um, or you can take it outside. We use this a lot for uh, putting it onto our hats. Um, this camera just, whether I can do it one-handed or not. Yeah, that pops out there. Look, that's how small the camera is. Um, and you can control it um, via touch screen. So you can touch this and uh, it will hit record. Or you can use the uh, case that it comes in. And again, you can just hit record there. And this case, you can actually charge the case up. And then that will end up charging the camera up. So it's really, really good. Um, and it lasts a fair while as well. Yeah, the only downside to this camera is um, that it doesn't actually take an SD card. 
um, which would be quite handy because obviously the amount of footage that we end up um, filming uh, really would be handy to have that. But it's got a decent amount of internal memory, so that just connects up to my phone and I can take it off of there. So last but certainly not least is the DJI Mavic Air 2 drone. Um, this is an absolute game changer for the channel. A really, really good piece of kit. I mean, we've got some awesome footage of uh, cliffs and that in Brighton, as you'll probably see on the screen now. Yeah, as I say, it's just absolutely brilliant. A proper game changer. Yeah, it's not only brilliant for filming, but great for photos too. Um, we've got some really nice photos as well. Um, and obviously you'll be seeing a lot more of that on the uh, channel soon. So we have got this drone case. Um, we've also got another one for our other cameras. These are absolutely brilliant, especially for uh, sea fishing or uh, anything to do with the water because these are actually locked down. And then that there is totally waterproof, or well, we hope. So you undo this, it's got all your little compartments in there for the drone. This is made, this one here is made for the drone. Um, the one that I'm going to show you in a minute for the camera gear, I've uh, actually had to make and cut out um, sections of foam to actually put them in. So as you can see in here, we've got the drone, the uh, controller stick for the drone, a spare battery. I bought that one separate. You could, could end up getting the uh, fly more combo. But um, that is quite expensive uh, with this drone. So I just opted just to buy another battery um, and that will last us easily for a fishing trip. The next thing that I'd say is vital uh, with these drones, especially with flying over water, is a decent set of floaties. The ones before were no good. They were just a bit of foam, but they kept breaking at the joints. Um, that was nowhere near as good a quality as this one is. And um, yeah, these just inflate. They're just uh, inflatables and yeah, some solid solid plastic that just clips onto the bottom of the drone. Um, very easy to use, but again, um, might just save the drone. So here we have the other camera case. As you can see, it's fully waterproof again. So as you can see, we've got the main camera um, and we leave this set up with the uh, microphone. Makes it a lot easier for uh, filming. Got loads and loads of SD cards. This is for the main camera. Handy little uh, containers if I can open it. There you go, you've got all of our SD cards in there for the camera and one in here for the GoPros. They're very handy little cases, just label them up. Obviously you've got the, the GoPro with the media mod, like we're showing you, the Insta360 and the other GoPro. This is a little light that we do sometimes put on the main camera if we're filming in darkness. That just goes in there. A load of batteries in this little stowaway pod because if they end up leaking or anything they will just end up um just leaking in that little container not going everywhere and then in here like i said we've got the dive case for the other gopro um loads of different bits and pieces this is to fit on the rail blaster mounts on the other boats so that will that'll adapt and take a gopro a uh, little clip on things so you can clip that to the side of the uh container whatever you want to clip that to so loads of different accessories. Stuff for the Insta360. That's, that will take a GoPro mount. Um, again, one here for your hat. So that will take the Insta360 on the hat. That's the one we use most of the time. That will just clip onto a standard cap. The Insta360 will go onto there. And then, um, yeah, we can film. So. so that sums up all of our camera gear. I know some of you might not have enjoyed this video, but it would help some people out, I'm sure. Um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe um, for more videos every Saturday morning and we'll see you next week, hopefully for a fishing one. See you later guys.